Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Stuff in Excel. One of the things I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to upload an Excel file or, or data from an Excel file into Power Query, and then how to go about cleaning that data. Uh, we won't look at all the different ways you can clean the data, but we're going to demonstrate a few of the different steps you can take to clean the data so that then you can work with it later. So let's go take a look at what we can do with Power Query. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we start getting into using Power Query is to ask the question, what is Power Query? So Power Query is a tool that allows you to open up a data set from a lot of different sources, transform that data set by, by correcting errors in it and cleaning that data set up, and then loading it back as an Excel file. So we call these ETL skills. It stands for Extract, Transform, and load. Now, Data Query traditionally was a tool that you downloaded as an add-in for Excel, but for the last several years, Data Query or Power Query has been built into Excel and is very easily accessible from within the Excel platform itself. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to go up and click on Data. So if we look at the top ribbon uh, on your screen, you're going to see this Data. We're going to click on that, and over on the far left, we're going to click on Get Data. Now, we have some other options here. We're going to use the From Web uh, option in a little while, but right now I just want to click on the Get Data because I want to show you something. When you click on Get Data, you're going to get access to all these other uh, sources, but you get a lot of choices here from file, from database, from Azure, from online services, from other ser sources, combined queries, a lot of different things you can do. We're going to click on From File. And when you click on From File, you can get data from a workbook, from a text or CSV file, from an XML file. Uh, from from a, look at that you can get data from a PDF file sometimes clients will send you whoops they will send you a PDF file and you have to get the data out of that Power Query has a tool is built so that it will allow you to extract that data and then transform it and then load it back into an Excel format that you can actually perform analysis on for this exercise we're simply going to d get our data from a workbook so I'm going to click on this and the workbook I'm going to use I happen to know is over here in my documents and it is this file called data clean so I'm just going to import that data now it's going to open up a window for me and that window is going to look like this it's going to identify the file uh, there's the file for it and it says within that file it's actually got two worksheets that I can choose from so which worksheet do I want well I could just know which one I want, but actually if you click on each one, it's going to give you a vision of what's in there. So when I click on sheet one, all of a sudden there says Richard's file, it's for accounting, the topic is data cleaning. I click on sheet two and it's, that's where my data is. That's the file I want to uh, upload and, and use. So I'm going to go, I can have a choice, I can either load that data or I can transform it. Well, there's going to be problems with that data, so I'm going to transform it first. So I'm going to load that up, and it's going to bring it up in, in a Power Query editor. So, And I know this in the Power Query editor because if you look at the very top of the screen, it actually tells you we're in the Power Query editor. Look at that. So we're now in the Power Query editor, and there's a lot we can do. So this is the editing screen, uh, the sort of the, the working area for your item. And we're going to look at this stuff here and, and learn how to turn that on and off. Uh, over here, you have the applied steps. This is going to be interesting because it's going to tell you all this different stuff that you're doing. As you do something, you can undo it, if you wish, by clicking over here. And it's going to tell you all the steps that you've done as you've gone through and worked on transforming this data. So we've extracted the data. Now we're going to try to transform it. Now the first thing I want to show you is it's got these distribution charts up here. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to go up to View, and we're going to click off where it says Show Column Distribution. So I'm just going to click that off, and there's my data. Now, uh, I want to do some things to this data, and we're going to do it one piece at a time. So the first thing we want to do is I, I've got this name over here, and I want to change the name of that column. We can do it a couple ways. The, one way is to click on it and go to Transform, or actually go over to Home. And under Home, it's, it will allow you to change the, the file name. So I can do that when I go to, let's see, I think, where is it? Is it there, or is it... Um, oh, it's right there under, under the Transform tab. So I can change it there. I can rename that tab. Another way I can do it, by the way, is I can just simply 
double click on that box and it will let me call that customer name. So that's another way we can do it. Or I can go in there, I can just click on rename and it'll allow me to do the same thing. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to split these. I've got first names and last names. Now, I also have here names of businesses. So I've got individuals and businesses mixed together and I want to separate these. So one thing I'm going to click on this and under the transform column, if I go to, there's a, a command up here called split column. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here at the top and it's called split column. When I click on that, it's going to allow me to decide how I want to do it. I'm going to split this by space. So I click on delimiter. Now it's going to bring up another window. And this window is interesting because it gives me some options. I can split every, every time there's a space, I can split this. Or I could split it just at the rightmost delimiter or the leftmost delimiter. I actually only want to split this by the leftmost delimiter. Uh, if I did by each occurrence, let's go see what happens when I do that. It's going to actually split all this into multiple columns. So I'm going to end up looking. i got a whole bunch of column name, one, two, name three, name four, name five, and name six. The reason why is because I've got a lot of, of names. If I scroll down, um, I've got a whole bunch of names down here. Um, uh, it, you know, this is a long file um, of businesses. Like, okay, for, so for instance, here's here's Newport Harbor High School, and it's, it gives me a cell for each one. Of, you know, it gives me a different column for every single one of those things. Um, uh, when I go and look at this, so I, I maybe I don't want to do that, right? Here's here's uh, a Green Wave Football Association. No, I don't want that. Um, here's a Santa um, Margarita High School. Um, so I don't want this. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back over here. Remember I said I could click on this. I can turn that off. I can close that and it's going to take me right back to, I got to close it again. And it's going to take me right back to where I was to start with. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to split column and I'm going to split this by delimiter, but by the leftmost delimiter. Uh, so this is just going to take the first time it sees a comma, that's when it's going to split it. And that's the only time it's going to split it. So I'll, sit, I'll hit OK. And now what I'm going to have is I'm going to have two names. I've got customer name one and customer name two. Now, I've got some other things I've got to do to this data now. Okay. So the next thing I want to do to this data is I want to uh, trim. Now, so I've got, I've got extra spaces. And I can tell that because, look, I've got extra spaces here and here and here. I've got this extra space. There's one for Lane. Let's get rid of that and get rid of those extra spaces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to Customer Name, click on that column. Then I'm going to go to Format, and one of the things that's going to allow me to do is to trim that data. Now, I've got a whole lot. Most of these things I'm going to show you, I've got separate videos on how to do these in Excel. Um, what's nice is if you've got a data file, it's the first time you've looked at it, you can use it with, with uh, Power Query, and it's much easier to do it. So we're going to trim that, and you're going to watch. I want you to watch what happens to Ruffalo and to Cooley, where it says Ruffalo, Cooley, Laguna Beach. I want you to what happens when I click on Trim. Okay, you see how it, it, it fixed all this? Now, it didn't fix Laguna Beach, so i got to go figure and figure out why it didn't fix Laguna Beach, but it did fix a lot of the others. So if I trim it again, um, it still hasn't cleaned it. So, so I'm not sure why it hasn't cleaned that one up, but it did go through and it, it got rid of, of a lot of those extra spaces. I can do the same thing over here. If I needed to, I could do a format and trim, and it would trim it. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, change the case of some of these columns. So you notice i got Bruce capitalized, Lee, City. Oliver is, is not capitalized. Uh, I go to Robert's not capitalized. I really want those capitalized because those are names. Robert's last name is not capitalized. So what I can do is I can click on that, that column. I can go back to Format. And Format will allow me to capitalize each word. So I can click on that, and sure enough, that's exactly what it did for me. It capitalized all those words. I can do the same thing over here if I want. I can click on that. I can do format and I can do capitalize each word and it will capitalize now all the words. Okay. Now there's another thing I might want to do here and that is I might want to get rid of an extra column. Okay, so I can get rid. I've got the column right here for customer ID. I don't really need that column, so let's just get rid of that column. I can click on this, and I'm going to go back to um, Home. And when I go to Home, one of the options it gives me under Home is to remove columns. So I'm going to remove the columns highlight. I'm going to say Remove, and then Remove Columns, and it took, takes that column right away. That column is gone. By the way, I can also add a column into this. Um, 
And because if you notice, I got sales and I got taxes, but I don't have total sale for, you know, which would be the sales plus the tax, right? I need that number also. Um, so I'm going to add a column and that gives me an option over here to do that. It's actually over here in, up at the top. I can go to add column and the type of column I'm going to add is a custom column. So I'm going to add a custom column. It's going to add it to the far right and it brings up this box here. So I'm going to call this total sale. And then in my formula, I'm just going to create a formula. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to say sales. I'm going to import that. Or you can double click it, by the way. Insert it. I'm going to now say I'm going to add the plus. I'm going to add that. Now, if I just double click on tax, you'll watch. It'll add this right to that formula. Double click. And that's it. Now I can simply go down here and say OK. It's going to add a new column to this. And there's the new column called total sale. Now, this column is not rounded off. I might want to go in and fix that. Um, uh, it gives me an option here to go in and round. And, you know, I, I want to uh, round this, um, uh, click on round. It's going to say, how much do you want to round it? And I can say round it to two decimal places. And so it gives me another column with that data rounded. Okay, so now I've got it rounded off. That's really kind of what I want. So uh, there's one other problem with this data, and that is this data's got a bunch of blank lines in it. And I can tell that. So I want to get rid of any blank rows because blank rows are going to cause me a problem. And it gives me an option to do that. I go back to Home. And Home allows me to remove rows. And one of the options is remove blank rows. So I can remove the blank rows. And when I do that, you watch all of my rows are going to, blank rows are going to disappear. And there they go. And you can see over here on the far right, under my applied steps, you can see everything I did to this data. Okay. Now, I could, you know, um, there's other things I could do, but let's say at this point we're done cleaning this data. What we would want to do next is we're going to want to close and load this. So we'll simply click on the upper half up here of this. So then I click on the lower half and it's going to give me an option to close and load. But we just click on the top and do the same thing. We'll click on close and load. So we're going to click on that and it's going to take us right back into Excel. And we're going to have this data now all nice and cleaned up and ready for us to analyze. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully uh, uh, you see now how we can not only use Power Query to upload data from an Excel file, but how we can clean that data very, very quickly. Well, I hope you found that very helpful. Uh, it's, it's just a great way to get our data, to extract it uh, from an Excel file, to transform it or clean it, and then to load it back up into an Excel file. So again, it's an illustration of those ETL skills. It's a very useful tool that's built into Excel that makes cleaning your data much more efficient. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you real soon on Stuff in Excel.